Okay, I don't know what's going on <laughs> with our life, but we're going to get it together. We are going to get it together. Peace, beloved. <laughs> I say. Peace, beloved. Come in. Peace, peace, peace. Let's see if I can move a little bit over. So I can stretch my legs out a little bit. Peace. everything let me put this in peace anybody um oh lord all right y'all greetings 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 ooh 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 yeah some really interesting energy this week peace 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 some really interesting energy this week. Be mindful. Be mindful. Be mindful. Be mindful. Um, real quick. Somebody asked me to do, and I'm gonna try to do this as best as possible. I forgot that I don't have as much time, and I want to make sure I utilize my time very wisely. Um I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find something that I can pretend is a pen. So we're going to use this. This look real crazy. You seeing them every day? Yes. 222 been my number lately. Triple twos. Them triple twos been, been heavy on me lately. Triple twos. Let me think of something else that I've seen. 1111. 1111. Greetings, everyone that's coming in. If you would like a reading, go ahead and drop your name in the question mark box beside the comments. Once again, if you would like a reading, if I did not get to you yesterday, which I think I got to everybody yesterday. Um, yeah, I think I got to everybody yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, that um, actually did a cash app. Um, as y'all should know... If you are uh, striving to get a reading, um, the cash app is pinned at the bottom of the screen. You can donate anything from a dollar to a hundred dollars or more. It don't matter, you know, in case you're feeling real generous, you know. Um, but do that. Um, I typically do my cash app readings first so I can make sure I get everybody out of the way. And then I start doing my one cards and everything for everyone else. If you missed the reading, and I know I had a couple of people that inboxed me last night, wanted to make sure that they got a reading today. If you missed um, an opportunity to sign up for a reading, go ahead and drop your name in. I have promised you um, that you were going to get in today. Make sure you put your name in this question mark box, please. Make sure you put your name in the question mark box, all right? All right. So... Before we get started, I really want to kind of just touch bases real quick on this um, candle magic. I'm using uh, the spell candles that were on my website, but I took them off because all the good colors was gone. <laughs> anyway, you could use um, typically little small spell candles like this, or you can use a seven day candle. But this particular spell, I think I had posted the other day. Um, is about taking candles that are like these, okay, um, setting your attention, so y'all know anytime I'm doing any type of smell magic, and I'm going to just use another candle just in case you got something bigger, anytime I'm using any type of spell type of work, candle magic work, the one thing that I always do, I'm going to use this just because it's bigger. I set it in my heart. So I'm going to set the intention. Lena, make sure you put your name in the uh, box at the bottom for me, but right there by the um, comment section. Anyway, I take this. What is it that you're trying to manifest? What is it that you're striving to manifest? What is it that you're seeing coming into fruition or that you're trying to release? You want to take it, put it here in your bosom, basically. <laughs> set the intention and... um. 
the the momentum for it what it is the energy so you close you don't have to close your eyes i close my eyes so i do close my eyes um do you book your reading under consults on she is magic if you want a, a personal re reading jazz um yes you do that on she is magic if you want one in here um you just send money to the cash app and put the uh click the little question mark box and put your name in it okay all right it's in my heart because that's what our strongest organ that it is going to put out the biggest energy. All right. It's the most intense energy. So we're doing that, setting the intention, whatever that may be. Boom. My intention set in the candle now. All right. So then the next thing that I would do is, okay, this is when you get into sigils. All right. So sigils are like your symbol. So a symbol of whatever your intention is. So it could be, I don't know how to do a sigil like in a snapshot, but basically it could be a symbol that you know that that represents, like say you want a new home. That means you're going to do, the shape, don't laugh at my drawing right now because I can draw for real. You might do the shape of a house at the bottom, all right? And that's your sigil. So maybe you're trying to manifest a new house. So you're going to put that because that's what you know that this represents. So it's basically a symbol that represents what it is that you want to bring in. So let's say you wanted to do peace. You could keep it that simple or you can create a sigil. That's a whole nother video. I ain't going to get into all of that. And then put that sigil on the bottom of it. All right. So now that we got our sigil on there, what's the next thing that we're going to do? Um, We're going to get an oil. Typically, you need to get an oil that corresponds with the energy that you want to bring in. You can create a blend or you can use your own, like, like something simple. Like I use cinnamon on everything today. I'm using frankincense. All right. So we're going to say, I'm, I'm striving to manifest a wellness house. All right. So I'm using frankincense. All right. So what you would do if it's something that you're trying to bring in your life, you are going to take the candle and you're going to rub the oils up the candle, okay? You'll rub the oils up the candle and you're going to speak life into what it is that you're going to bring in. You're going to show gratitude. You're going to give all the different dynamics. If it was something that you were trying to take away, then it would be taking that same candle and you're going to rub the candle down with the oil and you're going to go away from your body. So let's say I was wanting to remove fear. I would speak the words of what it is that I want to remove and whatever I need to like make happen with that and take the oil and rub it away. All right. So things that you want to release, rub away. Things that you want to rub, like bring into your life, you rub towards you. You rub towards you. Got it. All right. So let's say that that's the thing that you're doing. All right. We got all of that. Boom. I got my, my oils popping on here. I got my um, energy popping in, in the candle or whatever. Now, if you want to roll, like some people still like to put herbs on there. So you might have some herbs crushed up. I normally would have some on like a little, uh, I done started using this as my, my magic, uh, <laughs> station that somebody made for me. Okay. So somebody made this. So y'all see it look a little dirty, but somebody made this for me. So I use this as my station and I normally would have like oil, like my herbs or whatever. And I'll roll all. You're just going to roll your candle in it, all right? You can roll your candle in it, and it'll have all your little herbs. For me, in particular, if I'm doing these type of candles, I put them in um, an actual candle holder. But if I'm doing small candles like this, I normally light the bottom of it, and then I stick it on there, and it'll stay, and it'll burn all the way down. I pay attention to where the wax go if you want to read the wax. If you don't want to, you're like, that's too much. I ain't trying to go that fast. Then don't do that, Okay. So hopefully for the person, I know there's a few people that asked me about kind of going over that real quick. It's super simple. The biggest part of this, even if you don't have no oils, let's say you have like, I ain't got no oils. I ain't got no, no herbs, no nothing. Okay. The biggest part of doing candle magic is your intention. What intention are you setting in the candle? This is the most important part. You ain't got to have all that extra shit. What you really need is to make sure that your intentions and your ability to connect to the emotion that you would have if that particular dynamic was in your life or 
if it was released from your life. So let's say that you were releasing fear. Then the thing that you're doing is like you just thinking about the fact that you happy. <laughs> you're living carefree. You're doing whatever it is that you need to do. All right. Think about what freedom looks like for you. Visualize it. Hold it in your mind while you're holding your candle. All right. Anything that it is that you want. Let's say you want it. Like I said, I want to bring in a wellness house. Then when I'm visualizing my wellness house, then this candle, I'm going to sit there and I'm going to see myself walking through the wellness house. I'm going to see myself putting the key in the door. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to see myself operating in a certain energy and capacity within that house. That's all you got to do. So whatever it is that you want, you have to visualize it, hold it in your mind, raise the, the vibration and the intention. Number, um, whatever number I'm on, because I probably then went all over the place. The last thing that you want to know when you come to this candle magic thing. Okay. Make sure your energy is good. Make sure like don't come in trying to do no candle magic or do no type of like energy work when your energy is down. Okay? When your energy is down. Yes, you can do a petition as well. You can write a petition. You can do any type of like on parchment paper. Um, I always tell people you can get uh, like the paper bag, uh, brown paper bag paper, whatever. Um, it don't even have to be that. You can get some notebook paper, whatever it is. It's the intention behind it, okay? So if you want to do a petition, you could do that as well, all right? Um, I don't typically do petitions unless it's something real serious I'm working on. I ain't going to lie. Like, you got to be real serious. Um, but the biggest thing that you want to do is make sure that you set the intention of what it is that you're asking for or what you want to be released, all right? Whatever that dynamic is. Hold that visualization in your mind. Don't go into this. Don't go into this um, with the wrong vibration. Okay? Don't go into doing any type of work when your energy is low. If you come in and you sit down at your altar and your energy is low, stop. Take a moment. Meditate. Y'all know I say get your little your little playlist going. You better twerk something. Get your vibration super high. You want to get your energy super high. Because when you are striving to work in a space where you're trying to bring in the metaphysical into the physical realm, that energy got to be on the right vibration. You got to be operating on the right frequency. If you ain't operating on the right frequency, guess what's going to happen? Your little thing gonna be it's gonna be jacked up. Your candle gonna go out. <laughs> Your candle ain't gonna work for you. And then pay attention to what it is that you manifesting. Sometimes y'all be out here trying to manifest some shit that ain't supposed to be in your life. Y'all trying to bring in a man. Obviously, it ain't meant for that man to be in your life. Quit trying to bring back people that the universe done moved out. Be like, but I want him back. No, let his ass stay where he adds. There's a reason that they moved them out of your life so you can have something better. Just saying. I be having dudes inboxing me talking about, dang, what, how can, tell me how to do a love spell. You sure you want that kind of problem? Do you understand the duality of that? Y'all be wanting to do some stuff to do to people that I be like, I don't recommend that. I don't do that. I actually told him, I was like, I don't do that work, but you might want to go to, um, I think I sent him to Hoodoo Delish or somebody. I promise I did. I gave him like several pages that I was like, look, you probably want to check them out because they, they believe in doing that. I don't believe in working no type of love bonding spells to nobody. I don't believe in that. Now, I'm going to tell y'all not to believe in that either. Right. If they left, it went men. And people be wanting to hold, keep on this, holding on to stuff that is not meant for it to be in your life. Why you holding on to it? Let that shit go. Let it go. All right. So hopefully y'all got it. Somebody asked me about um, burning it. I do burn mine. 
So I do when I, you know, I, it's a couple of things. It depends on what it is that I'm doing with my petition. Sometimes I bury my petition and I don't take it out until the next moon cycle. So if it's something that I know that I want to see nurture and grow, you got to think if there's something that I need to release to the, to the ethers. So it depends on what the petition is. It depends on what specifically you're asking for. Okay. And then that's the dynamic that you want to set it in. Does that make sense? And you can use any element. You can use water where you can freeze it. You can use fire to transform it or to release it to the ethers, or you can use the earth, which is to ground it. Okay. Yeah. I bury stuff in the yard for like a month. I stay burying some. <laughs> I stay using the earth. I'm surprised my, my family don't be like, why is she out there? I done been in the, in the middle of the yard digging up dirt in the rain because of something I done put out there. I'm just saying. You got to figure out what works for you. Do what works for you. This is about intentions. This is about your own power. This is about what you connect to. So you really have to, there's no magic formula. Let me say that. There's no magic formula. What is your intention? Pay attention to what is your magic. If you want to start keeping you a notebook, this should be like, I think, uh, Wiccas and Witches, they call it, what is it, Grimoires? Whatever. Spell, I don't know, they spell books, whatever. We're going to call them spell books. Get you a little journal that you say, this is my spell book. This is what seems to work. This is what connected to me. I do better with manifesting with fire than manifest with fire. I do better when I take a spiritual bath and I go through a whole ceremony and I'm like, do that. Figure out what works for you. And then when you figure that out and you see a result, boom, stay in that. And that don't mean that you can't experiment with other stuff, but that's the whole point of this. It's for you to find your way back to who you are. It's for you to find your way back to your own power. And what resonates with you. That's why I don't like, I tell people all the time, I don't uh, subscribe to any doctrine. I feel like all of them have truth. So whether it's voodoo or Ifa or a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Beloved, I like how you worded that, that you seem to carry. You better say that because <laughs> it could be all an illusion. It could all be an illusion. I could come off of here and snatch everything off and be ratchet as hell. <laughs> yes, laughing, dancing, um, singing, laughing, dancing, singing, catching a certain energy. You have to be in a certain energy. You have to embrace and, and um, nurture whatever that energy so you can stay. Like it's nothing like being in a certain vibration. Because I'm telling you, when you're in that right vibration, when you're in the right frequency, the type of stuff that be moving. Boy, listen. <laughs> That's why you can see it. The video I post, I'm going to repost it today. The video that I posted um, <clears throat> from the retreat when we were outside uh, doing circle magic. It wasn't even windy like that. All of a sudden, when we started doing uh, our circle, our sacred circle outside, and then the wind started blowing when we were sending power. Listen. That's something different. <clears throat> I need to put this in my glass. <laughs> Boy, my body is trying to detox something that I had during birthday parties. Okay, so let me get started. If you, um, my cash app is pinned at the bottom. Let's go. Let's get it sorted. Um, I don't even know where to go. Selena. Let's do Selena. The trees was talking, the wind was talking, the lake was talking. I was like, yeah, no. I ain't never surprised, though. The earth will move when you ask it to move. It will. 
You just got to be ready. <laughs> a lot of times y'all asses be getting scary as hell. All right. <laughs> Hold on before I start doing this. Let me set the... Let's set it up right. Let's set it up right. <laughs> I actually think I'm going to do this as well. Hold on. I was getting ready to burn something different, but I actually am going to burn this cedar sage that All Warrior Fitness gave me. If I can figure out how to get in the packet. Look. Yes. Or maybe not. Look, when you think you're about to open something, it's like, nah, not today. <laughs> I said I was going to start burning this today because I need to start setting up for tomorrow. Tomorrow going to be an all-day event. We got some stuff to manifest and be thankful for. It's been an amazing it's been an amazing year. This will be a great time tomorrow, too, to be, you know, just show gratitude for everything that's manifested throughout the year. The stuff that you have manifested, even if it's something small. Think about where you started at the beginning of this year, I say. Um, think about the stuff that you started at the beginning of this year. I say. Yeah, we gotta have you at the next one. It's I'm gonna oh I'm gonna inbox you about something that's going on in September. So I say yeah. Think about where you started at the beginning of this year when this year came in. Think about where you started. All right. Think about where you started. Give me a second, y'all. Where you started at this year and where you at at this moment. And just be thankful. All right. Just be thankful. All right. Whew. Now let's get started. I know I got to do some work in here. <laughs> I say. Okay, so we're going to start with Selena and see what your car is talking about. What your car is talking about, boo. I don't know. I had my door open today. You got an interesting vibration going on in here. <laughs> Just a little bit. If you would like a reading, you can put your name at the bottom of the screen in that little question mark box right beside the comments. My cash app is pinned at the thing in the bottom of the screen for donations. Um... I'm going to strive to get to as many people as I can get to. Um, I might do a couple in the morning because we do have the new moon coming in tomorrow. So I want to make sure y'all get as much guidance as possible. All right, y'all. We know, y'all, my thing is over here glitching like a mug. It's glitching like a mug. Thank you. Thank you. 
I love me a head wrap. Let's see. I think we're going to do crystals today. one of these bracelets. Hmm. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I said that and now I see uh, I got nine more messages. Lord. I was playing. I was playing. I was just jokes. Okay, y'all. Let's get it. Selena, this is for you, baby. So, or Lena, um, it's saying that you're on the right path. I think you might have been questioning whether you're going the right direction, what it is that you're supposed to be doing while you're on this journey, getting back in tune. This is definitely a time for you to get back to, in tune with your purpose. Why did you come back? Okay. Why did you decide to make this particular trip in this journey to this dimension at this time? Okay. What is it that you're supposed to be very intentional on doing? And I think you already know to a degree, but you still need to dig in just a little bit deeper. It's a little bit deeper than what you think. As these obstacles and um, distractions are trying to get you off course, learn how to get back center, beloved. Learn how to pull your power back inward and stay on track, all right? Because there's still a destination that is in hand. There are some things that you've been asking the universe for and you have been asking your ancestors and your spirit guides and your angels, I say, um, for, and they are saying that it's on its way. You just got to be real patient, all right? Be very, very patient. But it's definitely on its way. It's definitely on its way. They are already putting people in your life and positioning opportunities in your life as we speak within these next. I honestly want to say within this week and next week, you should be like consistently meeting people who are opening doors and opportunities and that are um, bringing a sense of awareness that is reminding you and triggering a certain thing in your life that say, oh, wait a minute. Uh, that was for me. I know that was for me. Okay. So be be mindful of that. Be mindful that you are in a space that everything that's coming to you, you are in the frequency of it's coming to you for a reason. It's coming to you for a reason. It's blessing your life for a reason. All right. Everybody is divine and intentional at this moment. So you got to believe and understand and know that you are on the right frequency in order for that to happen because you asked for change. You asked for this. So now... You know, mama or y'all coming in like, oh, you want to change? I'm about to show you how this work, boo. <laughs> so, Tunde Earth is popping up. And Tunde Earth is like, now that you know, and this is coming up soon, soon you're going to be so clear and going to be so aware of what is getting ready to um, come into fruition. So, whatever is coming into fruition for you, whatever pathway it is that you're supposed to be doing, it's going to keep you on track. This is going to, you're going to be able to sit down and, and write it out. You're going to be able to sit down and manifest it. You're going to be able to sit down and say, okay, this is the direction I'm supposed to be going. But it's going to require patience. You ain't in no rush. You ain't in no rush. Listen, there's some energy that's saying you building and planning right now. You are in your power. You ain't in no rush. Get there when you get there. It don't matter when you get there. You ain't in no rush. Let go of the need to control or rush or, or push it. Or force it. Allow the universe to do what they're doing. I'm telling you, when I tell you they got your back, they got your back times 10. <laughs> they got your back times 10. And they getting ready to manifest so many beautiful things in your life that you wouldn't even imagine it. It wasn't even on your radar. But you got to learn how to surrender. You got to know that I can release my need to control. You don't have to control this. It's going to, you gonna have to be very fluid. Operate in fluidity, operate in an understanding that if I stay in the frequency that I'm supposed to be on, everything that I need, want, or desire will come to me. All right, stay in that, that energy. Your moon card is the end of a tough cycle approaches. The end of this old dynamics that you were going through 
everything that you've been going through, boo, it's, it's coming to an end. This is the full moon in Capricorn. It's coming to an end. Okay, it's coming to an end. And because it's coming to an end, guess what's about to happen? New stuff is coming. That's going to give you that motivation. You're going to specifically see that there's some things that you release and that are releasing out of your life and out of your spirit and out of your soul. That it is ushering in a whole new dynamic, a whole new life, a whole new way. And it's going to motivate the hell out of you. You're going to have a whole nother type of drive. People who are going to be the, the, the soul tribe that you've been waiting on are going to help you and encourage you and motivate you to get to your higher self and to your greatness and back to the original path that you was on in the first place. A lot of times we come into the universe and forget why we're, why we're here, what I came here for. Damn, I forgot what I was supposed to be doing. Everything that's happening in your life at this moment in time is going to usher you right back. It's going to usher you right back to the beginning. Your crystal card, beloved, is the red goldstone card. All right. It says, are you in touch with your magnificence? <laughs> are you in touch with your magnificence? And I'm laughing because um, Lena was a part of our, our circle on Sunday. And it's something that um, 157 told you. And this is about you walking in your greatness, beloved. Ashe, thank you. This is about you walking in your greatness. It says, are you in touch with your magnificence? Have you been living your life in full splendor? Find ways to bring more joy into your life. Become aware of the source of emotional challenges or perceived blocks so you can release them. Okay? Get in touch with your inner radiance and shine your light so brightly. This is about you. The sooner you get back in touch with your radiance, your greatness, your goddess self, everything else falls in line. I say everything else is going to fall in line. Okay, beloved. So this is about how can I get back to who I am? How do I know that I am here, that I've arrived? You know, because the people, places, and things start opening up, start gravitating to you. You are on the right frequency, beloved. It's just waiting for you to arrive. All right. The, the saint on the back says, I am full of vigor. I am authentic and I'm loyal. I am confident. I confidently reveal my true colors. I am full of life, enhancing joy and goodness. My life is dynamic and full of vibrant energy. Being all that I can be. Feels fabulous. That's your line right there. Being all that I can be feels fabulous. So as soon as you show up in your completeness, in your wholeness, you ain't got to question no more. And I know that that's coming soon. I know it. I'm telling you. Like, uh, it, it's coming very soon. This next 30-day cycle, this next moon cycle is going to be something totally different for you, beloved. It's going to be something, and it's not even on your radar. Like you thinking it's something small, it's going to be so big and so major. It's going to be some life-changing events that happen this year. So you got to be ready for it. And it's going to just require you just a little work. Just a little bit. <laughs> I'm always telling somebody, it's just a little work. Somebody else be like, man, listen. <laughs> just a little work. Just a little bit. It's just a little bit. Okay? I say. I say, Whew. oh, we got some good, uh, one card questions in here. Absolutely. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Okay, so let me do jazz. Why well, I can't get that to go down? Let's do jazz. You're welcome, I say. Show up and show out in your fabulousness. What's your sign, uh, Lena? What's your sign? Yay. 
if you did a donation, please put your, uh, say your name, uh, put, well, say you sent your donation in the, the question mark box so I don't mess up <laughs> down below. Okay, please put that I donated in the question mark box so I can make sure I don't mess up the flow. Because I'll be swearing I know who name go with what. I'll be right. Oh, in your Pisces, man, listen. You playing games out here. You playing games, Lena. I need you to walk in your in your your power. Pisces, y'all some some amazing people. I'm a Pisces moon, so I'm a little biased, but y'all Pisces is some amazing people. Show up in your power. Peace, beloved. Dream. Okay, See numbers and triplets. Figure out what those the numbers mean. You need to look up the spiritual meaning for those numbers. So what numbers are you? Um, I'm sure if you type in what number, uh, you see in the um chat in the actual uh comment section, you'll see somebody will help you. Peace, Retina. We were just talking about me and Curtis was just talking about you, Retina. We were just talking about you. We were just talking about you. This is for jazz. This is for jazz. Yes. We were just talking about gratitude, being grateful. Not a, a, they driving you insane? Don't say that. What's your sign? I love Pisces. Uh, well, no, let me take the bit. I do love Pisces, but I, I don't think I've ever dated a Pisces either. Oh, you're a Leo. You know they say we don't get along with no sign. <laughs> we don't get along with nobody. <laughs> That's what they say. That's what they say. Just saying. Y'all be the most... They say us Leos is the most damn difficult ass. We the most difficult asses to be with. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. I, I feel like whoever wrote whatever they wrote about Leos is stupid. <laughs> Sometimes Pisces can be um, <clears throat> too much in their head or in, a, in their own world. So a lot of times that they are uh visualizing or daydreaming about uh their own world okay jazz i need you to breathe boo breathe or something you got my uh cards over here being real interesting <laughs> you was doing good what you started doing okay we back to normal now <laughs> is it isolated mentality I don't know, like, to me, I feel like my Pisces, y'all are the dreamers. Y'all operate in a different dimension. So, if you, and maybe because I got a Pisces moon, um, um, yeah, I just think I see them differently. I'm going to pull you one more card because that same card just came out for you too. So, you must be thinking about it. Goodness. Okay. All right. Gratitude is coming up, Jazz. Gratitude is coming up. And the gratitude card is saying, hey, I am so grateful for my journey. I am showing gratitude for the things that I've experienced in the past and what I'm walking towards in the future. There are so many things that you specifically have to be like grateful for okay specifically when it comes to your past think about how much you came from what you've endured and how you've been able to overcome and what beautiful lessons that they came to show you okay what beautiful lessons did they come to show you all right walking in your best self is so important and so so key right now okay you have evolved beloved all right you have evolved and you have shifted and you have changed. So when people are testing you, because they're going to test you. <laughs> when people testing you and testing your greatness 
and who you are at this moment in time. Because they trying to make you backtrack. They trying to make you backslid. They trying to make you backslid. You can't be backsliding, child. You can't be backsliding. Remember who you are. Remember your evolution. Remember your higher self and what it is that you are walking in and why you are walking in it. Okay? These things that are triggering you. <sighs> These things that are triggering you, they are just, please understand, they are moments and they're coming. If they have not already started, they are coming. And I promise you, I feel like the last little bit of this retrograde going to try to kick your ass. I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm normally like, oh, sunshine and rainbows now. Let me tell you the truth. <laughs> it's going to try to have its foot on your neck, but it's trying to have its foot on your neck so it can bring out your greatness. All right. It is really trying to get that last little bit of thing that you holding on to and that's triggering you because somebody getting ready to try to come in and trigger the shit out of you. And when they come in and try to trigger you, you got to remember all these lessons, all this stuff that you've been putting in your toolbox all year in order to deal with situations like this and say, thank you for triggering this in me. They probably will look at you like you're crazy, but you need to be like, I, man, I thank you because this just taught me the most valuable lesson. Do you know how much I'm about to be blessed? Because it is. That's how you got to look at the situation when somebody doing something real. Oh, you know how I'm about to be blessed because of you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. All right. Meditation. Sit your behind in meditation. Soon as the situation come up and you have to go in your space and do some self-reflection and be like, oh, there you go. I see you. I know what I got to work on. Let me go on and put that down. And figure out what I need to do to, to resolve that. Do I need to burn this? Go in meditation. Don't you open your mouth. <laughs> don't you, don't you, don't you do it. Don't you dare go um mess up this whole dynamic that you have been working on. All right. Don't mess up your evolution. Don't mess it up for nobody. Don't let nobody take you backwards. Just sit in meditation. Release that. When you go sit in meditation, I need you to just release it. I'm going to let it flow. Mm -mm, I can't hold on to that. I'm just going to release it into the universe. That's exactly what you need to do. It's going to trigger you. Now, listen. This is why I know that they got their foot on your neck. It's going to trigger you. You're going to experience moments of mm, denial and, and guilt. So, denial... It says, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness acknowledge it but empower yourself with information all right empower yourself with the information that you know that this can't sit there no more because we doing what we walking in our higher self we're walking in our evolution of who we are we are not holding on to anything that is not a part of our growth and where we are going it doesn't serve a purpose and it cannot go with us all right that guilt energy mm -mm. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Don't feel guilty. Now, if you, I feel like this guilt card is because you're going you gonna to slip just a little bit. Your throat chakra going to probably be like, oh, I almost, you almost got me. I promise. You're going to have that moment where you're going to be like, oh. But listen, you got it. Don't feel guilty. Let that shit go. Don't feel guilty. Be like, well, I ain't perfect yet. <laughs> I ain't perfect yet. And then make sure that you're releasing all the dynamics, specifically when it comes to your past. You are not your old self, okay? I really want you to get that message. You are not your old self. You have evolved so much and you have grown. And I've seen you grow just in this year. I've seen you grow. So you are not your old self. You are someone new. That's why I say, welcome to the new. You're going to get your graduation. You're going to get your certificate, girl. <laughs> you're going to be in a space where you're going to get your certificate. You get ready to like just walk and ascend in a whole new dynamic. Because this is one of your tests. This is going to be one of a big test. It's going to be a big test. And they, like I said, they're going to have their foot on your neck. They're going to be, you know, like that little aggravating sister or brother that just be wanting to hold you in a headlock. They're going to do that. But it's for your growth it's intentional it's for you to get the lesson that you need to learn so when the rest of this year people trying to do it like it's just blowing off of you like you ain't even that's light work that's light work 
You're not worried. Okay, so you got three crystal cards. You're trying to make me work over here. Dang, you're trying to make me work. One is just the one that I just made. Are you in touch with your magnificence? You know who you are. You know who you are. That's why I love that this integrity card is coming in the present moment. You know who you are. Are you in touch with your magnificence? Have you been living your life in full splendor? This is the time to operate in your joy and your love, okay? The blue topaz, it says, do you feel the presence of the divine mother? Do you seek comfort in motherly love? Align with the grace and the ever-present vibration of compassion, kindness, and mercy. Decide to release issues and vibrate at a rate that emanates peace, love, and well-being. Open your mind to allow miracles beyond your dreams to manifest. Listen, I am an instrument of peace and love. I honor the presence of the great mother. I invoke guidance for everyone, including myself, to embrace peace. I open my ears to hear guidance from my divine feminine. Mm. My heart is open to this divine love. This is such a beautiful card. Specifically with this whole dynamic that's going on, beloved. Operate in your peace, be in your centered self, your most centered self, okay? Use that meditation, use it. The chrysanthemum stone card came up for you as well, and it says, are you ready to overcome suffering? Do you have enough clarity to find the source of your misery? So this is all about this reflection, so now I know why they, they did. This is the connection to this. They even look alike. This is you saying, when this trigger comes, this is a moment where you say, I identify where my suffering is coming. I identify where I'm holding on to sorrow, where I'm holding on to this guilt, where I'm holding on to grief. All right. So now it's the time for me to like go head to head with it. Quit pushing it under the rug. Quit hiding it in the corner. Quit putting it in the closet. It's time to pull that out and deal with it. All right. This is time to deal with your stuff. Okay, I'm, I'm working on the language out, but it's time to deal with your stuff. It's time to deal with it. Hold on, y'all. Let me stretch my leg back out. It's time to deal with your stuff. Face the music and do the work, but you're going to get your graduation card. Look, I'm excited. I'm excited about this certificate that you're about to receive from the universe. There's something you're going to receive, and it's going to be such a great blessing. I just need you to go here and inbox me when it happened. Be like, girl, let's look, look what happened today. <laughs> and you're going to be like, that's that moment. That's going to be the moment where you're going to be like, yes, that was it. That was it. All right. <clears throat> mm -mm. Madam... I'm going to call you Sean. It's Sean Dollar, but uh, we're calling you Sean today, baby. We're calling you Sean. We're going to call you Sean. All right, Sean. I know you're grateful. You gonna, It's going to be an amazing. It's because you're being grateful. It's because of the energy you operate in and why the universe wants to continue to bless you. It's because of that. It's because they see you doing the work. They was like, oh, I promise when you show up, the universe going to show up for you. I tell people this all the time. When you decide to show up and you operate in the energy you're supposed to operate in, the universe, it will show up every time and bless you. It's such an amazing thing. Ashe. This is for Sean. I know you ready. I ain't even worried. I ain't even worried. I think it's going to come in a way that you don't expect it, though. I ain't going to lie. Um, Tiffany, don't worry about it, baby. I got you. Um, I'm reading through comments now. Okay, so it's Madam T-Pop is the one that I'm doing now. And... My next one will be I Am Natural 2016. Okay. Sean. Okay, thank you. Sean. You're welcome, baby. Sean. Let me 
say this. Y'all don't be letting people trigger you. <laughs> don't let these people trigger y'all. Hmm. Don't let them trigger you. A lot of people will try to trigger you and test you because they don't understand the energy and the dynamics that are going on at this moment in time. So because they are not in tune with themselves and their own energy, they will create chaos and confusion I say, uh, in your life. Oh, you got a lot of strength cards popping in here, boo. Let's see. What's this message about? Okay. Sean, first card that come up is the resurrection card. So you are going through a transformation process. You are being focused on your higher self and how to be centered and guided to what it is. is this L <laughs> guided to what this evolution of who you are all right so while you're being in this process guess what the old you is dying away the old patterns the old behaviors people places things everything is like just fading but you are focused on what your hot your ascension what you are evolving into be focused on that this is really important specifically what you have connected to when it comes to your past um, healing there's things that you have started healing in your past all right and whatever it is that you started healing in your past it's come to the point where now you're like oh, okay yeah you on the level you like you in your zone all right you in your zone but it's starting to create conflict and it's not just conflict within yourself because a lot of times when the old us gotta die and that new person come in there's a conflict, there's a battle, there's a confusion, but it's not just going to be within yourself. Now you got the battle and the confusion with the people around you because now people don't know how to act. They don't know how to take you. They not understanding why you're not putting up with the same BS that you was putting up before. They not understanding why now you deciding to tell them no when you used to say yes. So now that's creating discord, chaos. All right. So it's a lot of different energy that's shifting right now. Gratitude, beloved. Be thankful for the resurrection. Be thankful for being in the space that you're in. All right? Be thankful for what's to come. There's some amazing things coming in your future. There's some amazing things that's coming through this transformation and you being committed to your growth. Right now, you are committed to your growth like no other time before. And because you are committed to your evolution and because you are committed to this growth, things are going to, opportunities are going to come right to you. Things that you weren't even asking about will come right to you. They will start to unfold. Things that weren't even on your radar are going to start to bless your life, okay? They're going to bless your life. You have to be courageous through this moment. This is a time, your journey through the soul journey, through this resurrection that you're going through, this is about being courageous. This is about, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So the things that you're scared of, the things that's creating, you say in your husband, like if he's creating an energy where now you're feeling like that you're fearful of losing him, don't remove fear remove doubt okay know that the universe has you if he's meant to go with you in this ascension of who you are becoming he will be there in the end beloved if he's not meant to go with you the universe will nicely move him out the way and i know when we are married sometimes we don't like to hear that or when we in relationships that we've been in for a long time we don't like to hear that but you have to be in a space where you know that everything is working out for your own well-being everything is working out in your best interest okay everything is going to work out in your best interest so no matter what whoever's supposed to be there is going to be there at the end you are stronger than you know it's your transformation card your transformation card is saying hey you're stronger than you know 
Okay? You are stronger than you know. You are second guessing your own strength, your own ability, specifically because you got all of these, like, it's a lot more. <laughs> you got all of this energy that say, hey, 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 don't entertain fear. That's man made. That's some BS that you done learned here on earth. You operate in the spirit of love. You operate in the spirit of knowing. Know who you are. Know what you connected to. Know that you don't have to worry about nothing. You don't have to worry about nothing. Whatever is meant for you, you are operating in the frequency of whatever is meant for me, it's going to be for me. If this person is supposed to be here, guess what? They're going to be here in the end of my transition. In the end of my transformation. I can't with you, Monty. I can't. I'm not doing this with you. <laughs> All right. So the energy, the, the, the more that you operate in this, the more that you're going to see this energy, this momentum, the more powerful you become, the more you understand your greatness, the more that you're going to understand what is going on in your life. The commitment is being tested. It's coming up in your moon cycle card. Okay. And that is the first quarter moon. It says your commitment is being tested. So that's not just even with your, your relationship, but that's all of it. Even your journey. So this commitment being tested, trying to see how true are you? Especially during this retrograde, everything is going to be under the microscope. Like, oh, you say you're spiritual. How, how spiritual are you? Oh, you say you in love. Oh, how in love are you? <laughs> You say you're about this life. Let me see if you ride or die. All right. So this is a time frame where your commitment is going to be tested. And you have to know that you are Teflon. <laughs> you stronger than the, and than the average. So you got to be in a space where you know that everything that is happening at this moment in time is happening to make you greater than what you already are. It's just adding on to your notches. You know how you get medals and badges of honor when you're in, in war? I think about this when I see this battle card. You're in war right now. You're in war to keep your higher self, to get to your higher self. And because you're at war to get to your higher self, you have to be very strategic. You have to be committed. This is about playing chess. You know your position. You know your position. Don't get it twisted. Do not... Still operate in your greatness. The crystal card is the tiger iron. It says, are you drawn to standing up for yourself? I promise. Okay, pause. I promise anybody who's having any type of relationship dynamics. I swear, I think I pull this card for them every time. I promise I do. I'm starting to see a pattern. Anyway, <laughs> are you drawn to standing up for yourself and your own personal truth? Are you a champion for yourself? And are you a champion for others? Follow the guidance in your dreams, visions, and messages from the archangels, especially Archangel Michael. Position yourself to do what needs to be done in order to set the boundaries that will create well-being for yourself. All right. St. Joan of Arc is the actual uh, saint on the back. It says, I am grounded and focused. I have plenty of energy and time to accomplish what I need and what I want to get done. I am confident in my abilities, my strength, that word strength. So that should be your key word. That should be something that you need to create an affirmation for or something. Okay. You need to create an affirmation dealing with strength. Okay. My strength shines through all I do. I stand in my truth and I maintain my ground. All right, beloved, there is beauty in who you are becoming. <laughs> there is beauty in who you are becoming. You stand strong and you stand firm and it. Do not allow anyone to make you feel doubtful of this energy, of who you are, of your queen, of your goddess energy. All right, you got this. I love you. <laughs> All right, let's count me down. So I'm going to log off and come back on. And then y'all got to, I'm sorry, y'all got to re-put your names back in the boxes, okay? Oh, and let's see how to turn it. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to log off. I'll be back. <laughs>